Downtown Orlando. What immediately comes to mind is heavy traffic, tall buildings, and people rushing through its busy streets. But you may not know that downtown is more than just that. It's an exciting city that embraces diversity and invites you to discover its many wonders. Going back in time, Orlando wasn't always a vacation getaway. Instead, it was a place for hardworking people that were striving to see the small town grow. Starting out in the 1920s as a pioneer settlement for citrus plantations, Orlando radically evolved from orange fields and muddy, empty streets to a radiating city full of life and flourishing industrial development. Hotels, restaurants, and even entertainment businesses found their home here, surrounded by a financial boom that pushed downtown to become the central business district of Orlando. Currently populated by people who love their city and enrich its history by being a part of the community, downtown is the hub for a mix of culture, art, music, and delicious food. Local business owners and visionary artists pursuing their dreams can find the perfect place to start their journey at the Orlando Farmer's Market located in Lake Eola. Well, we're more family farms. We're a family business up in Lake Mary. About nine years ago, we went broke. We lost everything we had. And my wife found this place by accident. We do all of our farming. We're doing a lot of greens. Everything here is local. What's cool about this market in Lake Eola is that they only let real farmers in. I mean, everybody's selling vegetables in one hand or the other. But for us, it's more of a connection. You know, it's like an extension of our family. The people that live here are coming down to get their vegetables and, you know, they depend on us, uh, you know, for food and we depend on them for support. If you want something fresh, all natural, like nothing like tampered with, no GMOs, then like this is the place to go. I come from Argentina 18 years ago. I do a stoneware plate functional. You can decorate with this, but also you can cook with that. If it's anniversary or birthday or, or wedding, and people ask to make a plate for them. I use lace, I use a doily or wedding dress. And they can say, let me cook in my wedding dress. And they make memory from the past. They have a treasure for something they already have. It's the whole experience to see different art, different food, and to see the people. You have to support the local. That's the, the beauty of the market, you know. Everything you have, you have to make, make in the country, sell it from the country, support the same country. Just at the outskirts of downtown, in the Mills 50 district, there's a cozy restaurant called Taco China, which focuses on always being fresh and not fancy. They serve a cultural fusion of flavors to please everyone's palate. Uh, Edgardo Guzman, uh, owner and operator of Taco China. Uh, Taco China to me, to me it, it's, it's my child, you know. Um, it started from a dream. I was blessed to have a very good friend of mine, someone very dear to me, uh, build this dream with me. And, you know, it just, it just took from there. Anyone can come in, doesn't matter if they're vegan, vegetarian, you know, if they're looking for something healthy, something a little, you know, on the extra which, you know, we can cater to anything and anybody at any particular time. Um, but the concept is food truck meets restaurant. Uh, it's something simple, something basic. We kind of married the, the few, you know, we married the flavors, the spices together to make it easy. I wanted to dress the walls um, with local art because I'm all about the arts. You know, I express my art with the food. Downtown also has other hidden gems, like the Timucua White House, located in Soto, which is south of downtown Orlando. The Timucua White House is my house. It's a very simple answer, but that's what it is. We designed and built this house uh, with a 100-seat auditorium in the living room. On a Sunday night, you can come to a concert and enjoy you know, great food and wine. We exist, we still exist, and we continue to exist because of the support of individuals. If we can magnify any aspect of what we're doing, it's that, just to inspire more people and sustain a movement towards a more engaging and thoughtful and artistic culture. Get to know the real Orlando. There's still so much more to see. 